Welcome back to Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Guys, I have a really special show for you today. Today's show is going to feature Todd Castledine. I recently had the opportunity to go run the camera for Todd and film him catch a bunch of fish for Let's Fish TV for a TV show. And we absolutely smacked him, or more so, Todd absolutely smacked him that day. And we're going to show you exactly what went down that day, kind of what transpired through the day, how we caught some fish, and how... You can be better the next time you're on the water. Let me tell you guys, if you watch any of my content, you watch any of my YouTube shows, this is definitely one of those that you want to watch and pay really close attention to. Todd really breaks down exactly what you should do and how you should catch fish right now. Not not five months from now, not what he did six years ago. What is happening right now and how he's catching bass. I promise you, you don't want to miss it. I can promise you guys. Todd brings the heat today on this YouTube show. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm getting ready to announce the winners of the contest that I had the other day, the giveaway. And make sure you go subscribe to Todd Castle on YouTube. I think this show is going to really highlight how good Todd really is and give you some in and outs that maybe he hasn't given you before. So enjoy this right after this. good one man middle of the summertime super super hot it's been hot all year long but we've had a couple little fronts come through a little bit of more or less rain we're getting some clouds rain we got some wind going on I don't really know how we're gonna catch them we're gonna go out there see I know we're gonna move around a bunch and we're probably gonna fish pretty shallow with the conditions we got so hopefully I'll see y'all guys in a second catching some big fish uh, should be fun, guys. Like 34 pounds. Whoa, there he is. Oh, oh man, a little bit better one right there. Oh, good one. That is a good one, guys. God. Oh, he's got, there we go. God. Eating the top water. I can, this is gonna be a fun, fun day, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> that is how you want him to eat it. Make sure I don't get hooked. Oh, wow. Guys, throwing a topwater. You know, there's docks around here, and what'll happen is, yeah, they'll sit on those docks in the middle of the day, but they'll roam off of them in the morning time, especially in this cloud cover. And I sure wasn't losing her. Got them. Zo wire hooks on there. Look at that. Middle of August, and that fish looks like it's it could be spawning. I mean, that's how healthy they are down here. Good, good four or five pounder right there. A lot of cloud cover today, which is kind of rare sometimes in this like late late summertime but we have a little system coming through we actually have a north wind which is pretty rare this time of the year but that's what's going on we're going to have more and more little fronts come through and that's going to make this top water so much better and like really guys i'm just i'm fishing around these docks but i'm really not focusing on docks i'm focus, focusing on these rocks right and there's a lot of different top waters you can throw right now i'm throwing the one knocker sexy dog it's just kind of my, it's my bait that I really like to throw this time of the year, especially in that late summer, early fall. So we're gonna get back after it because guys, they're biting. Let me see what it feels like. Okay, now. 
is a bike. <laughs> Just make sure. Because I didn't hit it that, like I reeled it slower that time. You know, just to make sure. That roof goes in the water right there more. I think that's what she was on. Whoa! I mean, I was about to reel in. He came out and hit it on the edge of that boat dock. Oh. Another good one. Another good one. Guy, he's got something wrong with his eye, I think. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I see his eye all messed up. Wait till y'all see this fish. Look at this eye. Oh, oh. He is, he's not ready yet. Oh my gosh, it's, that's why it's not a, look at this. What I tell y'all, I told y'all there are some hybrids in here. Look at that. I wondered why he started fighting so hard. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that was worth it right there. God. Oh man. <laughs> God, that was awesome. A big old hybrid. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, guys, like that, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. That was pretty much my last cast and I was about to reel in. I didn't think one was gonna hit that far outside the boat dock, but that's what's pretty cool about this time of the year. You really don't know where one's gonna hit and how far they'll follow a topwater. I guarantee you that fish followed it for a while and uh, just finally locked in on it right when it got to the edge of that. The corner of these boat docks sometimes will have a big one sitting right on it. Might be a bass, black bass, might be a hybrid, but either way, I'll take a couple of those throughout the rest of the day. That was, that was pretty cool. Still hitting the top water. I switched colors, but they're still hitting it. All right, guys, if you notice, I changed from that bone colored sexy dog to this chrome one. Sometimes I just kind of like to mess around and see what's going on. See if one of them produces a little bit better, if I get harder strikes. Uh, I, I'm not really too sure yet. I'll kind of go back and forth throughout the day and just kind of see. It's, it's not as dark as it was earlier, and we're getting into a little bit clear water. I kind of like that chrome and that clear water. Don't step to me. Well, I, I, how else am I supposed to make a cut? Oh my God, don't hit me either. Oh, well, I can't tell you I'm not. Oh, good one. All right, well, I switched it up. We kind of got in a little bit of a wind. I remember I had talked about the wind. It had a little north wind. I really don't like throwing a top water when it's windy, that windy. So I switched to a rage swimmer, the, five, the big one though, the 575. Like I said, there's a lot of gizzards around here and that's what I'm kind of going after. Not a bad little fish. Got some cloud cover. Like we're gonna still catch them today. I, I've, that top water bite's good. Like I said, the only reason I switched is because of this wind and this chop. I just don't think they can really see that top water is good. That was my first cast with it. First cast right up next to the bank. Same place I would have got bit on the top water if it was calm. But as soon as I get around some calm water, I'll probably switch. But for right now, I'm gonna throw this, this rage swimmer. And I have it on a six aught flashy swimmer. Like I said, this is a big bait, guys. A 575 rage swimmer is a pretty darn big bait. And I'm throwing it on. I got a, a, a loose, kind of a custom little rod we're trying out. They're, they've made a couple of these blanks, but I got it on my Super Duty. If you notice, I've got quite a few Super Duties laid out. I've got one on my topwater rod right here. I got one right here. I've got one for a jig. Here's the deal with that Super Duty. I love that reel, but I only throw big line on it. So 25 pound line, big braid. I stick with that for that for that Lou Super Duty 300. Here's another one. Oh, big one. Oh, big one. Heck yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, that's what I thought. 
Oh man, I swear, I swear she hit it. Oh man, that's all right. I probably, I probably fought that a little too much. I just watched watching her jump around like that. Man, that was awesome. That was a big one again. Like I said, probably, probably messed around with her too much, but hey man, I'm just out here having fun. That was just worth a bite like that. God, once again, guys, still, you know, a lot of times that top water, we all want to throw that top water, right? And we want to throw it, and we think we need to throw it all day when it gets cloudy. But sometimes these fish, and especially this time of the year, late in the summer, they kind of get off of it as the sun gets up or later on in the day. Either or, I know we don't have the sun up, but it's a little bit later on in the day. Those fish are still super shallow. And I mean, that, that hadn't been five minutes. I got another bite. I'm gonna still kind of mess around. I'm gonna go back and forth depending on what I see. If you notice, I don't have a lot of rocks and I don't have anything where they're up there. These are more of dock fish, but they're still up super shallow. I've tried some of those bigger docks. Um, I noticed that I wasn't getting any bites further out from them. So now I'm focusing on little bitty, what I kind of call trash docks. They're little bitty nothings. They don't look like much, but a lot of times when it's like this, they are not worried about shade, so they'll get around them. And it's just kind of like what we call junk fishing. Oh, get on. There you go. <laughs> Golly. I might not mess around with this one. Well, she might not let me. <laughs> God, just a switch like that. And another big one. God, look at that rage swimmer. This, this is pretty fun. Super shallow, guys. Super shallow. Oh, look at that fish. Man, pretty. Just beautiful. I mean, I'm really shocked about how good they look this time of the year. Golly, guys. I, I mean, <laughs> that kind of scared me after losing another big one. And then it got me wrapped around that big stick right there. I knew she was a big one, too. Whew, I got to settle down here a little bit. This is all happening so fast. Man, so here's what I got going on, guys. I got this owner, six aught. It, it's kind of like their old beast hook, but it's called their flashy swimmer. And it's pretty cool. You just thread that raid swimmer up on top and then just stick it through. You know, you're going to rig it basically like you would a Texas rig. Okay, go on through. It kind of has a space right there, but if I'm fishing around cover, I just kind of just put that tip in just a little bit. And I'm throwing it on 25 pound uh, line, fluoro line, guys. I, I'm not a big fan of braid when it comes to this stuff. I think the way they hit it, the way you load up on them, the way you set the hook, it, I think it's just too much. Braid's too much. and. To be honest with you, even around that stuff, I really don't like braid around wood like that. I like fluorocarbon. It usually doesn't break. If you have big enough line, it doesn't break. And so, man, I'm just, I'm kind of jacked up, man. Like I said, we've been throwing this top water and all of a sudden made just a tiny switch. And sometimes that's all it is, guys. And they're right underneath the water. They're still biting it. I got to get back out there because I know, I know we're going to catch another one. But if you can tell, the wind, I know it's blowing real bad here, but it's gonna be calm over here. So I don't really know. I might, I might have to go back to that top water and see. But that's the cool thing, man. I've got two baits and I'm probably gonna stick with those for the rest of the day. Uh, I know they're both working and just kind of fish the conditions. That's really all I'm doing. If I've got wind, I'm gonna throw this more. If I got calm, I might throw that top water more. I got a good one. That's a good one, man. How about a, just a thunder cricket late in the day? I was not expecting that. I just kind of was, I mean, that's literally my first cast with a thunder cricket. I mean, incredible. And it hit so far away from the dock. I was kind of shocked. I mean, golly, I can't turn her. I honestly didn't think it was a bass at first. 
I ain't stopped her yet. Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> Late in the day, got a little bit of sun. So I was like, hey man, let's just, let's go throw a Thunder Cricket in the docks. Literally my first cast. Incredible. Oh, look at this guys. I mean, that might be bigger than the other one. That's at least six. Golly. Got all my rods in the way. Oh, get on out of here. He's still there. Come on. There he goes. All right. <laughs> so look, it, we still got cloud cover, right? But we got some little bit of sun peeking through. And I was going, man, let's, let's just pick up a thunder cricket, hit some boat docks. You know, like I said, still a little bit of that junk fishing. It doesn't seem like we can catch them that like the, the top water bite is slowed. The swim bait bite is slowed. I was like, man, let's pick up a thunder cricket, hit these docks. This is normally what we do in late August, like that late summer, real sunny. And I, I swear some of these fish, I guarantee you, even though it's so cloudy late in the day, like when the sun's directly overhead, they'll move away from that stuff that was on the bank and they'll get out here on these docks. That fish was not way up underneath those docks. It was right on the corner. So it still did, it was relating to the dock, but it wasn't up underneath it. Got him. Oh man, another good one. On the old top water. He's staying down, I don't know where he's at. I can't even see him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, got one, no, oh, there we go. Oh man, what a day. Guys, I was thinking, hoping we'd catch one more. We got a storm rolling in, you can see it. It's getting worse, we gotta head back to the boat ramp. You know, we got all this, this usually sun, dead hot, middle August, late summer. I gotta be honest with you guys, it's usually pretty slow. You kinda have to drag around. But if you get some days like this, this these cloudy, good little rainy days, topwater action, swim bait action, reeling, moving kind of fast, covering water, fishing really super shallow. That's been the ticket. Hopefully, hopefully we might be able to catch a couple more. If not, we're gonna go back to the boat ramp and we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about the day. First, start off today with a sexy dog hard knock. This is my like go-to topwater. This thing usually catches them all year long, but it really shines in the summer months. I really like that big knock in it. Man, that, that really calls them up from cover and from deep water. Second, when that top water bite died, I ended up going to the Rage Swimmer, the 5.75 Rage Swimmer. And this is key, guys. I put it on a 6 aught owner flashy swimmer hook. I really like this when the water is not super clear and when I'm throwing around a lot of cover, like boat docks, laydowns, things like that. It really seemed to shine today. And last, man, a storm started coming in. We had to come in, and we saw a couple docks. And I said, hey, let's go throw it on them. And why not throw the Thunder Cricket? I had a half ounce green pumpkin Thunder Cricket, and it really, really shined at the very end of the day. Caught me one big one. Caught a couple more before these storms rolled in. Here's the great thing, guys. I'm throwing it on a seven foot three Team Lou Signature Series Andy Montgomery. It's actually their bladed jig Thunder Cricket rod. I really like this rod. Fact, I like it so much, I was actually throwing my top water on it just the same. I really like it for a top water because, man, it just has a lot of good action. Usually when you find good rods that have good action, you can use multiple things on them. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today. I know I sure did. Guys, if you want to see more of Todd Castleline, go to Todd Castleline Fishing on YouTube. You can catch a lot of my videos there. Anyways, hope you all had a good time, and hopefully y'all learned a little bit about finding and catching some bass.